Hi, it's Blakely with Everyday Gourmet. So I have a very sweet neighbor and she keeps giving me papaya and that's amazing, but I don't know what to do with papaya. I know I grew up in South Florida and we have papaya, but I've never been a papaya eater too much. So I'm gonna make use of, of those beautiful papayas by making a dessert. So growing up, my favorite dessert were my grandmother's lemon bars. So I'm gonna try and like recreate a lemon bar, but with papaya and some lime and coconut. It's gonna be very tropical and amazing, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. So the first thing I want to do is make my crust. So in here, I have a quarter of a cup of coconut oil that I'm gonna put in a half a cup of almond flour. So we're just gonna mix this together to combine completely. Just like this. Now, this is obviously gluten-free, which is also delicious. I'm not really doing it just to make it gluten-free. I actually really love the, the texture and the flavor of the almond flour in this. Kind of gives it a nutty flavor. Okay, so once that is mixed together, I have one cup of coconut. I'm gonna add a little bit of, whoops, a little bit of salt in here, just like a quarter teaspoon. I'm also gonna do two tablespoons of maple syrup. And you want to make sure that that coconut flour, or coconut, um, shredded coconut is, has no sugar. It's unsweetened. So we're going to mix this together. Ooh, it's going to be so good. Okay, so turn this off the heat after everything's mixed together. You don't want to really cook it. Beautiful, beautiful. Mm, smells amazing already. And then I'm going to add one egg white right in here, if I could talk. It's gonna help bind everything together. Mix it all together. So I have an eight by eight pan here that I lined with parchment paper. I also have my oven preheating right now at 350 degrees. All right. So I'm just gonna spread this out evenly. Is it hot? No, we're good. Not too hot. So with clean hands, it's warm, but not hot. Kind of pat it around. Make sure everything covered. Just like this. Okay. Make sure there's no holes in here. All right, perfect. So into our preheated oven it goes for about eight to 10 minutes until kind of beautiful golden brown. And in the meantime, I'm gonna show you how to do the filling. All right, in it goes. So look at how beautiful this papaya is. It is ready to roll. So I am going to just slice it in half here. Ooh, look at this. It's so pretty looking. I love the look of a papaya. All right, so what I'm gonna do, scoop out these seeds because we don't want the seeds in there. We just want that beautiful flesh. So scoop out these seeds just like this. Comes out fairly easy too, kind of like a, you know, like a cantaloupe or a, or a honeydew or one of those. Perfect, just like this. So I'm gonna scoop this out. And I am going to put the flesh part in here into our food processor or you can use a blender too if you don't have a food processor that's fine it's right in there all right this should be almost enough and whatever I have left over I'm actually gonna make a cocktail too which will be my next video so anything will go towards that all right so I'm gonna keep putting this in here all right so that should be good so I'm gonna go ahead and put on this and puree it. So look at this beautiful puree. And like I thought, I had more than enough to make a cocktail, which I will. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what to do now. So in here I have two eggs. I'm gonna whisk together with our beautiful puree. So three quarters of a cup of the puree. I'm also gonna do a half a cup of sugar. 
I'm gonna do a quarter of a cup of the almond flour. By the way, if you do not wanna make this gluten-free and you want flour or you just don't have almond flour or just don't care about almond flour, um, you could do the same portion in the crust. But for this, instead of doing a quarter cup, only do two tablespoons or else it'll make it too thick. So I'm gonna a little bit of salt. And then I'm gonna do the zest of a lime right in here. And papaya and lime are one of those kind of quintessential flavors that just do so well together, like peanut butter and jelly, strawberry and chocolate, all those kind of things. Tomato mozzarella, papaya and lime. Oh, and I love the smell of lime. Everything about lime makes me so happy. Actually, you know what? Let's do, that should be enough. Ah, oh, whatever, I almost knew the whole thing. All right, in there. I'm gonna cut it in half. I'm gonna do the juice in there as well. So our crust has about two minutes left on it. So when that comes out, while it's still hot, I'm gonna pour this on there. Okay, beautiful. Mix this together and the filling is done. How easy is this? Just make, make sure there's no lumps of that almond flour in there. Perfect. All right, gonna wait for this to be done. One minute and 40 seconds left. So this is hot. I'm gonna add this, look at this beautiful papaya filling right to our hot crust. No need to let it cool or anything. And we're gonna let this bake for about 20 to 25 minutes until you can jiggle it and it doesn't jiggle, which is what we all want, right? All right. Back in it goes, 350, about 20, 25 minutes. So my papaya bars are done. They're beautiful, they're amazing. You wanna make sure, very important, that they let cool completely. In fact, maybe just like run them in the refrigerator for a little while, really let them set up. But then once they're done, I like to sprinkle the top with some powdered sugar and some more lime zest. And you have an incredibly delicious, oops, incredibly delicious papaya bar. I hope you like it and don't forget to subscribe to Everyday Gourmet with Blakely for more delicious recipes and videos. Mm.